Hey guys, how you doing? You're back with me and probably one fly buzzing around. I've been sent two games. Uh, this first one is from Ed again. And um, we're just going to go through it. Think what you would play in each position. And let's just dive in. Okay, Ed starts with the white pieces. He plays d4. His opponent is rated 1846. This is a 10 minute no increment. Okay, we have d4, d5. And we're going London by the look of it. Knight out, standard London moves. Okay, and he's finished his pyramid here. So, the challenging c5 move, good stuff. All right, we develop the knight. This is all very normal. Bishop to d3, very normal. And now black challenges the bishop. So the bishop has to retreat back to c2. Knight comes around to try and nab the bishop. Okay, bishop now comes back to g3. Is black going to take it off the board? No. So this is a very common move that you'll see if you're a London player. Bishop coming here. Now either the bishop or the knight could capture here, in which case we'll probably capture with the h-pawn, opening up the h-file for our rook. So what's Ed going to do? I'd imagine knight d2. No, he trades off. Wow. So if you see here, Ed's got three pieces on the board and his opponent has also got three pieces on the board. But after this, Ed's now 3-2 down, but it is him to play. Wow. So this seems to drop a pawn after knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, queen takes knight. But he doesn't do... Oh! Because there's a discovery on this knight. Wow. Okay. The knight retreats, and now Ed defends with f5. That's a bold move. So now, if knight takes, he can capture towards the center with the f-pawn, then maybe short castle with an open file for the rook there, or at least semi-open file. Black castles. Okay, I would not imagine that we're going to capture here. We've got a very nice bishop looking down at h7, but the queen can't come out and attack that square because the knight guards that square. So what's going to happen now? Castles, good. Knight retreats. And now he's got a couple of options of capturing here. Okay, Ed finally plays knight to d2. And we have f6 challenging the knight. Okay, what do we do here? What would I play? What would I play? b3. Yeah, you don't really want to take either knight, because if you take here, then black gets to develop his last piece and connect his rooks. If you take here, black gets to capture with a b-pawn, having then a pawn majority in the center. So b3, challenging on the uh, on the wing there. Okay, we have pawn takes. Is, it's got to be f takes. Yes, f takes. Now we have tension between the rooks. Queen takes, okay. Black plays the queen back. Black wants the trade off now. Now these knights are actually looking pretty bad because we've got all of our pawns here on dark squares covering all of these. And because the knights are on light squares, they're gonna find it very hard to make progress up the board. Okay, Ed captures towards the center with B takes C4, D takes C4, and now it's white with a central advantage. This is really good play. Oh, we win a pawn. Amazing. Hey, B4. And now there's a beautiful outpost here for the knight. Is that what we're going to play? It's either that or retreat. <laughs> Edward. Goodness me. He says, I see your attack on my knight, but I, I can do better than that. I'm going to threaten mate. G6 prevents mate. And now surely the knight comes in. No, the knight doesn't come in. Another counterattack. Ignoring the attack on the knight. I'm loving this. Now the queen has to move. The knight can't block because it can only go to there. So the queen must move. Queen goes here. And now in comes the knight, finally, to the... Uh, 
the outpost on, on D6. Great stuff. We're actually still... We're down a pawn, though, here. We're down a pawn. All right, so... Nice move by Black. He's lining up a discovery against the Queen and the Rook. But the problem is that if he moves the pawn forward, the bishop's actually undefended there. It's not on a protected square. So the Queen moves out of the way. Rook moves over to f8. No! Oh my word! I didn't even notice the pin on the knight. The knight is undefended. The rook behind... This is, this is just a blunder. I mean, I guess black could have played uh, knight d to b8 to defend that one. But he missed it and blundered the knight. We have a trade. The knight now comes back to defend the bishop. Wow. Spectacular play here. Okay, so what do we do? He could, he can't, no, he can't play queen there. Can't capture the bishop. What are you going to do? Bring the queen back here, something like that? Yes, queen f3. There's no rooks, so we don't have to worry about the king and queen being in line. Proposing a trade of rooks, we're actually up a piece for a pawn now. Ed ignores the tension between the queens, that's very mature play. Targeting an undefended pawn. Queen has to come back. Goodness me. This is heart in your mouth stuff. I don't know what I would play here. I do know what I would play. Um, King here is kind of dubious. You kind of want to get it off of that line. Maybe King F2. Push the Queen up. Yes. Queen F6. And we have a trade of Queens. Oh, no, 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 we're not up a piece. Forgive me. In all the excitement, we're up two pawns. Pushes. Now, Ed has time to push this pawn up and defend the knight and the pawn. No, he just grabs another pawn. Wow. Attacking the king. Well, he's not really attacking the king, but the king can't move to either side now. King Mike. If the king comes here, actually... He is forking the bishop and the knight, but that allows um, promotion. King comes here, we promote, king captures the queen. So that's not gonna work. So what are we gonna do, move the knight? In, in, in two jumps, you could move the knight to here or here and defend the bishop. Oh, it's black to move, okay. I'm getting giddy. Black takes the pawn, king comes over to defend. Black comes in, targeting the a2 pawn. Do we push a3? Push a3, kick the knight away. And now king c2, yes, is a fork. The knight's actually defended by the bishop. Check. We win another pawn with three pawns up. We lose one. Pushes up. Attacks the bishop. Ed says, I don't care. You can take the bishop. In comes the king. Really, really active king now. This is exemplary. King comes back now. Wow. Okay, I guess king d4. King moves sideways. Check. King moves away. Attacks the other pawn. Trades. Ed's trying now to simplify and push through his pawns. Okay, what do we do here? Push the pawn. Yes. Comes in trying to attack. But the thing is, if we allow black to trade, we take off here. King takes. We take. The king there from this square can't go here or here or here or here. So what do we do? Advance the A-pawn. No, advance the D-pawn. Takes and we trade off. Take the pawn. Now, this is a very common situation. The king cannot capture here because he loses grip on that one. 
So now I guess the king's just going to slide in. Blocked off. Now black has to move. And where's he going to go? He can't legally go here or here or here. If he goes here, the pawn promotes. If he goes here, it's got to be the move. Now he takes and loses. Oh my goodness me. Ed, you are playing out of your skin, my friend. Out of your skin. Okay, and that is an 1150 taking down an 1800 using the London system. Beautiful. All right. Do you want to see game number two? Okay, so this has been submitted by Jose Raul, a good friend of the channel, who's 1854 rapid. Again, this is a 10 minute no increment. And Jose has the black pieces. We have e4, e5. Okay, now, yes, I remember the message. So this is like the whale variation of the English. So the English normally starts, well, the English starts with uh, pawn to c4. Then if you have e5 and then white responds to d4, we have the whale. And I made a video on Freddy Krueger sidelines the other day, and this is one of the very unusual sidelines that you, you might get as an e4, e5 player when you get c4 on move two and the move is pawn to f5. Right, normally here, because the queen is allowed out, we would play knight to f6. We do play knight to f6. Okay. And now the idea, generally in the, in the Kruger repertoire, is that you get to push your d-pawn at some point and then recapture this pawn, normally with a, a development advantage. Okay, so out comes the dark squared bishop, preparing, for example, d6. Bishop comes out pinning the knight. Castles, good way to defend the knight. Now if they take, we have the option of taking with a rook, we have the option of taking with a queen. You really don't want to take with a g-pawn. White plays the knight out to c3. Okay, another typical move. Pawn to c4, preparing to come and contest this pawn. If they take, we take, we maintain our center. Remember, one of black central pawns is already vacated to the f-file with a temporary advantage. So what now, d6 now? d5 now, okay. Notice it hangs this pawn. But if the knight should capture there, we have rook e8 pinning the knight. They take, we recapture. Bishop closes the e-file, but that now allows us to push e4, I guess. No, we grab the pawn back. They grab the pawn. Okay, black is still a pawn up. Oh, what? Bishop sack on f2. But after king takes, we don't have this, do we? Because everything's looking at that square. What on earth is going on here? Oh, but we do have... No, we don't. No, surely not. Takes. Knight there, win the bishop. But that's giving up two pieces. That doesn't work. He does it. But if bishop takes, bishop takes, discovered check. Oh my lord. So white doesn't take the bishop. And now we take the bishop. A material is equal. Wow, that is a pattern to remember. That is one that I'm, I'm going to go over this game again. Okay, they trade. Okay, so he's got three attackers on there. We trade off. All right, we're a piece down. Oh my god. I wasn't ready for all this. Okay, as black, surely we've got to develop the knight. We've got to bring the other rook over. Yeah, knight c6. Bishop comes back, targeting the loose pawn. Rook a to e8, check. Also, we're threatening to come in with a queen here. Now, surely we come in with, yes, queen check. King goes back there. I know. Do we push d4? Hit the knight? No, we attack the bishop. Of course. Two attackers on this bishop. Two defenders as it stands. This adds another. The bishop's also pinned. We take. Pawn takes. It's got to be rook takes. Rook takes check. And now. 
Is rook f2 mate? No, it's not. But we can win the queen. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I need to lie down after all that. That was two brilliant games. Thank you for sending them in, my friends. Hope you enjoyed watching these as much as I did. I'm beside myself. Fantastic stuff. Always great to see. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.